So let's talk about chapter zero, some crazy ideas in chapter zero. You don't have to understand them, but you have to kind of have a sense. We're going to come back to these ideas in chapter 12. So that's the way the book is structured. So we'll explore and layer in details and come back to the beginning in chapter 12 and know the place better for the first time in a sense. So just an introduction to ideas, crazy, crazy ideas. These ideas, I don't even get entirely. No one does. They're, they're so big, so beyond human. And yet we know a lot. So let's talk about how we've come to know that, how our ancestors have helped us come to know that. And what do we know now? And then we'll go all the way back to our ancestors and evolve our understanding. But for now, I mean, you might say, how, why is it so hard to grasp? If you've seen some of this stuff, maybe you've watched, uh, you know, the Grass Tyson's Cosmos, or you've watched I mean, maybe Carl Sagan's Cosmos, a much longer series, or things on, uh, on, on, on education channels, whatever. Maybe you've studied the, that sort of thing, or just played around so you have an idea. Maybe you don't. You've been busy doing other things. At any rate, we get a sense, but it's deeper and deeper and still so hard to grasp. And the reason that it's so hard to grasp, let's hit over here, is that us as individuals have walked around with our naked eyes, maybe we have glasses or contacts, but with our naked, unaided eyes, right? And you can't, you look outside, day, you can't see too much, night, dark sky, still, we can't see the entire universe. We're going to talk about the universe. You can't see it. You can't see the entire universe, but we are a part of it. So this is the universe. Dry erase pens are a universe. I'm universe. I don't know the whole thing. I'm obviously just a part of it, right? So trees, we're in the universe. We're a place where there's life. We know this. But when we start talking about the entire universe and where it came from, we've only been alive for however many years you've been alive, 18, 20 years, who knows, whatever, 30 or 60 years is still not a lot. How do we know? Well, there we go. Um, so we see our world, we see our sun, we see our moon. We thought it was the only one, the sun. Come to think that other stars are of similar construction. There's other moons, so our moon, we thought it was the one moon, the moon. Uh, we can see some planets with the naked eye, naked eye visible planets of our hood, our solar system. We're going to talk about that distinction. And what we see also are the stars in our galaxy that are close enough and have enough luminosity, like watts, like a light bulb, that they're bright enough to see. But that's all we see. So we talk about the whole thing and the whole thing coming together. It's crazy. So that's why it's so hard to grasp. But we'll just go ahead and try and move forward. So let's talk about a few things here. I'm going to do a series of uh, four different videos here and uh, layer some of this, some of these ideas in as you read. So why is it hard to grasp? Well, we're humans with eyes. They're not very big instruments, right? They're good, but they're not as good as our telescopes. Uh, what's it made of? What is the universe? What is all space-time made of? So let's see. What is the universe made of? Well, we talk about space, and sometimes we say, and time is time a thing. There's interesting discussions, lots of great discussions there. Uh, bring in Einstein and we link the two, space-time. Uh, one can't just understand, it's hard to grasp. You have to put in lots of years. If that becomes your obsession, your focus, your expertise, then you're going to have to work hard at it, even to get to the place. And then when you work so hard, you still feel like you're not entirely clear. So there's more that you know, but there's more to know. So the space and time, what's in that space and time, or what's it? Uh, I don't know, there's, there's matter, this board, this pen, your hair, 
And matter is largely, not entirely, or I'm going to this will in chapter 10, but matter, the stuff around us made of atoms. And atoms are made of protons, P, and neutrons, N, in the center of the atom, whatever, with electrons, kind of going around the center or the nucleus of the atom. So there's matter. We'll get to that later. It's just an introduction. There's light. We'll talk about light later. Um, and so that's what we have. But wait a minute. As people have explored through generations, not just one person, they found some clues. Um, and now we're wondering, maybe there's some other stuff called dark matter and dark energy. These are just names for two different things that we really don't know what they are. We're still looking for it. People are looking for this. Very difficult. So I don't know what's in the universe. There's space and time, which comes, we've got atoms that are made of protons and strength. There's light. There's dark matter, there's dark energy. We're going to talk about that a little bit here later. Um, maybe there's other things that we don't know. We know what we know. A thousand years ago, people knew what they knew. We'll see that uh, about 300 years ago, people really started learning more and faster. OK, so that's what the universe kind of is made of. Good enough start, right? Good enough start. Uh, let's get rid of that. The next question is, well, the next question is, how do we know? I have a simple answer, and then a longer answer. The simple answer is evidence. That's a good word that we'll use. Evidence from detailed exploration. and challenging each other and our assumptions. So the one word answer is evidence. There's evidence. Now, the long story is Lots of years of just doing this and not going to the movies much and just working really hard to get to know the details. It's a lot of math. If you want to be an astronomer, you need a lot of math and a lot of physics. But you want to be a good mechanic, you need a lot of elbow grease. You need to study things too. You need to look at things. You need a mentor. You need to. It's a lot of work to be a good mechanic, right? It's a, it's a lot of work to be a good nurse. There's a lot to learn. So there are a lot of details that there's no way we can touch on in this corp. But you get an idea. And if it's something that we kind of know, I'll, I'll say that. If it's something that we really know, then I'll say there's a lot of evidence. So just know that this isn't, we're not talking about people's stories, and we're going to get into that. We're not talking about make-believe or the way that I want it to be. You know, I want to live on and on. You know, that's, that's what I want, I think a lot of us do. So, uh, but there's evidence, OK? And uh, without getting into the, the technicalities of it, just know that. And uh, again, we'll talk about how solid that evidence is. And it's not about opinion. It's not about authority. And we're going to touch on those ideas as well. OK, so we're going to come back. I'm going to uh, give your mind a break and make you click on another video just to uh, break this up a little bit. And we're going to ask, well, with all the work that's been done by our ancestors, all the humans on the planet that, are, that have worked on this, and other people have worked on other things, right? Um, uh, what do we know? What have we come to know about the universe versus multiverse, now, the universe now, how far apart, all these topics. So let's come back for another video.